What's going on, Mother Truckers? Uh, email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. You know, we have a question of the day, and I think this is a really big one here. So we need a fact check to know if this is true or not, right? And so either this is a singular issue or is this an issue that other newer Landstar drivers are having as well. It says here, hey bro, subscribe to your channel. Could you possibly make a video or look into why Landstar dropped all new owner operator carriers without any explanation other than saying it was a business decision? If you signed up with them within the last year and are new, they won't let you book any of their loads anymore. Thanks. So I give this mother trucker a phone call and I go, look, uh, where are you getting this information from? And he was trying to book a load and he couldn't. And when he talked to one of the people at the headquarters in Florida, this is what they told him, you know, uh, that they are not uh, booking loads with any new Landstar drivers. So, so here's the question of the day. You know, is this a singular issue? Is this a issue that this driver right here got an excuse from the dispatcher? Or is this something that's true that if you only have less than a year they're starting to not let landstar drivers book loads with them for any reason that they call a business decision so i tried to call out to landstar no one's picking up the phone for me and so we're reaching out to the community and let me know are they dropping newer landstar drivers and why you know my truckers comment down below that's really big uh ask and question there you know um now here's one the other day we talked about uh 10 roads and how they lost their usps contract and i asked the question out loud if any usps truck drivers can email us so i'll keep the name anonymous i got about 30 truck drivers from usps and they're all saying the same thing so Comment down below and fact check this one. But it says, hey, Alex, I currently work for USPS and been working there for over a year or so. And to confirm, yes, we are taking back more than thousands of contracts and keeping everything in-house. Recently, the news of 10 rows is true and more news about other companies losing their runs as well will be coming soon. So in the meantime, most of the companies are not letting the drivers know what's going on. So it is gone. going to be more layoffs across America. And that's the same consensus that I got from a lot of emails from drivers that said that they work for USPS. So I'm just letting you know right now, look, if you are a mother trucker that's working for a company and their main contract is with USPS, just be considerate of what I'm saying. Fact check it yourself. But that's what I'm getting. And I just want to give you guys this uh, detailed information here because, you know, it would suck for you guys to lose your jobs before Christmas, you know, but that's what USPS truck drivers are saying. They are taking their contracts back. So if you are a contractor that is working for a company that's working and pulling USPS loads, yeah, they're pulling it back. That That's that's crazy, but that's what's going on. And it almost makes sense because in a market that's crazy like this, they want to have enough work for their own private fleet. You know, I can see that happening here. You know, uh, another thing that's big that I thought was interesting here, I got links of this. Now, there's a man out there right now that's accused of putting truck drivers out of service because he's stealing their side mirrors. You know, it says a Virginia man is facing charges after he allegedly stole more than 200 semi truck side mirrors from truckers in the Stafford County area. So here's a face that you can see. This guy looks like he wakes up and wants to just make truck drivers lives hell. And, you know, I don't know if there's a big market for stealing one side mirror. But a truck driver was smart. He put an air tag in his side mirror just recently and they followed the air tag to this guy's house. And here's a picture of like so many of these side mirrors. And if you know, DOT will put you out of service. So if you don't have a side mirror, these drivers were all put out of service. Uh, you know, now they don't know why this guy's doing this or not, but I thought that was really interesting and glad that they caught this guy. So if you're out there in Stafford County, Virginia, and your side mirror was taken and it took hours for you to get uh, another mirror and you were put out of service, you have this guy to thank right here. So to that truck driver, I appreciate you for air tagging that, you know, uh, mother truckers, you know, there's so much news out here, so many businesses that seem to not be in business anymore and are shutting down. So the big question that I have for you guys today as well is, 
is anyone doing well that doesn't mind sharing some of this information? You know, I don't care who you are. You know, this is not a sponsored show. So if you work for Walmart, you work for some company where you're making six figures or good money in this crazy market and they are hiring, you know, email us at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. I want to put some positivity out here. I, I want something uh, some to gain some information for truck drivers so that they can win in this tough market. You know, I, I do want to make a prediction, though. And tell me if I'm right or wrong on this. And I know uh, right now truck drivers don't have any money. And I understand that. But if you did have some money, you know, I, I am predicting that the, the used market for equipment, tra uh, tractors and trailers, especially trailers, are getting cheaper and cheaper every day, especially because companies are shutting down and they're selling at auctions for cheap, real cheap. And so. I'm making a prediction. You could screenshot this or whatnot prediction, but I really think that uh, if you picked up some used equipment right now, a couple years from now, you could double, triple your money. I'm really thinking that, you know, but one thing's for sure. You know, I'm co-owner of Bigger ETs. People know that, right? And if you don't, then, you know, I guess seamless plug here. But the reason why I tell you that is in a time when the market is just so bad, you know, relationships are hard to stick by. And even though it's really hard to make money for everybody right now, I'm finding myself being able to build relationships with travel centers that will actually even look at our t-shirts at Big Rick Tees. You know, um, and so it's the same for uh, trucking companies. You know, if there is any opportunity, people are losing their relationships right now. It's your chance to gain them to gain these lanes, to gain these relationships, you know, and win when it gets better. You know, uh, my truckers comment down below. What are your thoughts about everything I'm talking about? But the, the big one that I want to know is this Landstar driver, you know, is this a singular issue that he was dealing with and did they give him a runaround or is this something that they're doing to all Landstar drivers that are newer, you know, because, you know, this is big news if it is. Uh, Mushrookers, comment down below. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for listening to today's podcast.